Now that we have seen different types of errors and problem with surfaces, we will shift our attention to the process of fixing them. Among the first methods to fix problems with surfaces is the manual surface repair mode available in the surface preparation tool. The manual surface repair mode is used to identify, isolate and fix errors on a surface. It is important to repair the surface before moving on to the next stage in the meshing process. The surface repair operations can affect association with underlying CAD parts. In general, any surface repair operation that creates new faces causes a loss of CAD association for the new faces and possibly the face neighbors. Therefore, if CAD association is important, keep surface repair to a minimum. After a quick introduction to surface repair mode, let us see what is the general procedure while using surface repair mode. What is the surface repair workflow? In general, you can use these standard steps to fix surface errors in surface repair mode. Use threshold diagnostics to identify problems. Identify the problem area. Isolate the problem area. Select entities for repair. Fix surface problems. Let us see how to perform each step in surface repair mode. First step is to use threshold diagnostics. When you first start surface repair, no diagnostics are shown in the surface diagnostics panel. To activate thresholds and to run diagnostics, click Manage Thresholds. The second step is to identify problem area. After setting up and running the diagnostics checks, the results are displayed on the model. Next, we have to grow and isolate the problem area. Once you have selected a suitable face, edge or vertex, you can isolate the error using these standard steps. Press Draw Selected to select the area of interest. This option grows the group of selected items but does not affect the underlying displayed items. Press Hide All Faces followed by Show Selected Faces. This option displays the selected entities in the graphics window. If necessary, press Grow Displayed Faces. This option grows the displayed area. What should we do after isolating errors? After isolating the error, we have to select entities in order to repair them. You can select the faces, edges and vertices that you wish to fix by using the mouse in the graphics window. Using the control key allows multiple selections. Select the face, edge and vertex combinations that correspond with the required surface repair tool. Then you can deactivate all selections before selecting new items by using the Select None button or clicking in any white space around the part. Finally, we delete unwanted faces. This tool deletes the selected faces from the part. The tool becomes available when you select at least one face. The following example deletes unwanted faces from the solid part of a geometry. Next, we will see how to create faces from vertices. There is a tool called Creating Faces from Vertices. This tool creates a face using the selected vertices. The tool becomes available when you select three vertices. 
The following example fixes free edges by creating a face. The three vertices are selected. The next tool is collapsing vertices. This tool collapses one vertex to the location of another. The tool also collapses an edge or face to its midpoint. If you select an attached vertex with an edge or a face, the tool collapses the edge or face to the selected vertex. The tool becomes available when you select two vertices, an edge or a face. Next, we will study splitting edges and faces tool. This tool splits a face or faces attached to an edge in half using the midpoint of the selected edges. The tool becomes available when you select at least one edge or face. The next tool is of swapping edges. This tool swaps the connected edge between two faces. This tool is available when you have selected only one edge. The next tool is of smoothing vertices. This tool locally smooths a selected vertex or vertices to improve the quality of the surrounding faces. Use this tool if you want to refine the quality of a surface mesh by improving the distribution of vertices on a surface or along a feature curve. The smooth selected or attached vertices tool becomes available when you select at least one vertex, edge or a face. Let us see the process of using this tool and various steps. First, right click the smooth selected or attached vertices button and select options. Then select the smoothing mode, unconstrained or constrained. After that, set the number of iterations depending on the number of smoothing iterations that you want to perform. Finally, click OK. The figure shows an example of unconstrained smoothing. There is no restriction on the shown vertex while smoothing. This figure shows an example of constrained smoothing. Here, all the vertices are constrained to the X direction. The next tool is of project vertices. This tool moves the selected vertex or vertices to a new location using one of five modes. This tool is always available as selections can be made in the graphics window after the tool is activated. The next tool that we are going to see is the Fill Holes tool. This is among the most commonly used tool. This tool fills a hole with new faces using the selected edge loops. For closed loops, select at least three edges for this tool to become available. For open loops, select at least two edges for this tool to become available. The Fill Holes tool has three modes. The first mode is Mixed, which can fill a combination of holes that are defined by chains of selected edges. The second mode is Closed Loops Only, which can fill a hole that is defined by a continuous chain of selected edges. The third and the last mode is Open Loops Only which will fill a hole that is defined by a discontinuous chain of selected edges.